Welcome to another episode of Would I Buy It Again? Show where I talk about something that I bought with my own money and where I ask myself if I would buy it again, knowing how it actually performs. Today I've got something that everybody's talking about. Apparently one of the best in its price range. Hoya Variable ND Filter. I've got Hoya UV filters on all of my lenses and they're pretty good. So I thought I'll stick with the brand. I don't have the ND filter with me, which kind of answers the question if I would buy it again. Here is some footage I shot with it. Keep an eye on the colors. Clip on the left shot with the ND filter on. Green tint, very noticeable. White balance is set to sunny for both clips. If you are thinking, are you not supposed to set the white balance after you put the ND filter on? Well, I did that. And it's still not right. My pregnant girlfriend, she's even more pregnant now. Again, she looks green and notice the background as well. The sky on the left. Same story goes for the pavement here and the wall. Now, interestingly, the auto white balance got it almost right. I'm gonna finish with some clips of my face. The green tint is sometimes not as obvious but it is still there. It's pretty bad most of the times, even when I set the white balance after I put the ND on. I paid £126 for it, and for that money, I expected better results. Oh, and also, you do get the X pattern, but only when you set the ND to its maximum. But that's nothing unusual, that's how variable NDs work and a bit of vignetting at 16mm. So would I buy the Hoya Variable ND filter again? If I was filming the new Hulk movie, or Green Lantern, or Green Hornet, no, the answer is no. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!